this is kind of an odd question. I've figured out a better way to phrase it. Yeah, oh, I'm not, I'm not gay. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> Would you consider yourself um, multicultural? Bicultural, maybe, because I was, um, you know, I, I realize now I'm second generation. Mm -hmm. My parents were born and raised in Mexico, came here as young adults. I was born here. That makes me second generation, not first. Right. So, uh, multicultural, I don't know. I mean, there's European conquistador blood running in my family. <laughs> there's Mexican Indian blood running in my family, mm -hmm. raised in an American ethos and culture. Mm -hmm. with smatterings of Mexican ethos and culture. So, I guess, I would say at the least bicultural, mm -hmm. multicultural, that's hard, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm, not, I'm that global of a citizen yet. Mm -hmm. Having been to India though, I thought it exposed me to a different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. That was actually very fascinating. I was surprised that I experienced what I experienced. I thought I was going to be I, I was not expecting to be impacted the way I was. Mm -hmm. And how, how did that impact you? I didn't realize how Western I was in my thinking. Mm. Um, and so for that reason, um, having to... The metaphors I took, for example, or the way of thinking I took, for example, was actually um, different. Mm -hmm. um, and the Indian culture, which I don't know what you call it, a bit more Asian than you would Eastern. Mm -hmm was um, just as rich and full, but different. However, the, the curious thing was to discover how um, how Christianity morphed to that culture as well. But some things are still the same. Mm -hmm. You know, some two or three core beliefs, but its expression was different. Its expression was Indian. It mm -hmm. wasn't Western. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was interesting to discover. Any, any. Do you feel changed in any way from um, having been there? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you are, you know, it's hard to tell because it just happens. It just happens, <laughs> right? You know, it's like you know, it's like if you're out in the sun too long and you you get a tan. You know, you don't really feel different until you look in the mirror. I don't know what changes might have taken place. I did experience a, a sense of connection to the earth that I had not experienced. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for nature. I mean, I'm not anti-nature. But I don't really like to live in it and be around it. I, I understand why people like like it, but I don't. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that was forced on me for those eight days. <laughs> um, so that was different to experience that, uh, you know, waking and sleeping to the patterns of the earth. Mm -hmm. um, a strict vegetarian diet, different. Mm -hmm. No coke, different. <laughs> no TV, limited internet different. I mean, it was a completely different experience. It was almost like a forced monastic retreat. Um, but I think that gave me some clarity and insight spiritually that I had not known. Mm -hmm. So for that, I'm grateful. Did it make me multicultural? I don't know. I think I almost feel the arrogant to say like, oh, I've been to India, so now I'm multicultural. <laughs> you know, at best I was a tourist and appreciated the, the beauty of the land. Yeah. Okay, well, that's all my questions that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and nothing else? No, but, um, no, I think that the, really the gist of the class that I'm teaching is about learning how to be tolerant and encourage tolerance in the classroom for, like, special ed kids mm. and immigrant kids and, you know, all different variations of people and families and that kind of thing. So, um... I, I will say this. <laughs> yeah, I will say this. Um, that my father was always able to see the humor in the worst moments. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that my father never allowed is when when we as kids made fun of somebody who was handicapped or like you know it's it's awful to even say that. But you know, kids are awful. They're little bastards and devils that, that, <laughs> that need to be trained to become human. Um, whether it was somebody's vision or something odd, a limp. My dad went ape shit over something <laughs> like that. He just thought that was just the most worst sort of expression of humanity. Mm. I, I think that for folks that are, you know, quote, handicapped, have a physical, you know, deformity, some sort of dis disfigurement or diminishment in their hearing or something, that um, if there's any way to maybe, uh, you know, stop the sort of arrogant disparagement or even 
paternal sort of aspect to them is 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 uh, is for folks who is for young adults or kids to experience the people as people versus you know here's this shell that's different from my shell the vast majority of shells but their their full humanity still functions mm -hmm. their mind their hopes their dreams and uh, when my dad I mean, this is one of those things that really, you know, there's one of those, those two or three moments where something that your parents do, like, really do affect you for life. That mm -hmm. was one of them. Mm -hmm. He never saw that as appropriate. And he helped me be, be grateful that I wasn't in chronic pain, in a wheelchair, cross-eyed, missing a part something that was just limp in my body or something you know so while i wasn't this physical specimen of of uh, male you know <laughs> adonis beauty uh, i wasn't any of these young men and and so I, I got to appreciate who i was grateful but then i got to know people as people they weren't mm -hmm. oh it wasn't just the guy in the wheelchair it was like oh that's larry mm -hmm. and it's just that larry happens to be in a wheelchair i happen to be able to walk mm -hmm. Um, I, I, again, I, I think it's it's removing the labels and the boxes that we put folks in that helps to see them in their humanity. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of xenophobia as well, a bit of fear, a bit of fear of the unknown. It's different, so I don't know what it is. Can I trust it? You know, is it gonna does it diminish me by acknowledging their humanity, mm -hmm. or do I step into my humanity fuller? by seeing the humanity in someone who doesn't quite look like me. Mm. I think it's more of the latter than the former. Mm -hmm. I've never, I'm convinced that nobody is ever diminished by helping someone or seeing someone more fully in their humanity. Uh, I don't lose mine, mm -hmm. I gain. Mm. That was one thing I think I took away from India. Mm -hmm. That there was this broader view of the richness of humanity. Hmm. You know, we're all tragic art pieces in some ways. Hmm. Some easier to see than others, but in the end, we're all part of the story of humanity. So, anything else? No, thank you. <laughs> I know, good. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to stop this now. Good night.